What's up guys, Fuad here back in the building with another video. Today guys, it's another interesting video. We're going to be talking about this weekend's huge heavyweight clash between Derek Chisora and Alexander Usyk. For those casual boxing fans, or you may not even be a boxing fan, I'm going to take you through who these guys are and why this fight is so significant. We will also have the main man, Derek Chisora, who is fighting on the night, who is one half of that fight. On this video, as I spoke to him yesterday, threw in a couple of questions and you'll find out what he said to me when that comes about. So a quick overview, Derek Chisora, the British fan favorite, 32 wins, nine losses. In them 32 wins, he's had 23 knockouts and them nine losses haven't just come to like nobody's. He's lost to the likes of Dylan White and Tyson Fury. Derek has kind of aged really well like over the years he's you know been in and out but the last few years he seemed to really start to cement his legacy and that's from getting in proper shape facing opponents and knocking them out cold this guy has looked elite and he's come to the plate every single time and he's shown us that he's still got that little bit left in the tank that he still can go to the very top and prove it on the other side you've got the ukrainian dancing master in alexander Usyk. this guy is possibly the pound for pound best boxer on the planet arguably to a lot of people's opinion he is let me tell you why 17 fights 17 win 13 knockouts this man won all the belts at cruise Away, the division below heavyweight he captured every single one in a knockout tournament they held and he was the last man standing he fought every one of the, those opponents in their backyard in their home country he also fought one of britain's favorite fighters over the year tony bellew in a fight about two years ago and he won that fight as well in manchester this man isn't your ordinary boxer he moves his skill set his angles this guy is the real deal full package fighter. But now he's moved up to heavyweight to challenge the big dogs. In his first fight at heavyweight, he fought Chaz Witherspoon. With all due respect, isn't the upper echelon type fighter that would cause you mad problems. But he was still a heavyweight and Usyk got through that fight. Now he's got a mad task in his hand because Derek Chisora can bang. The last time we saw Derek Chisora against a southpaw was against Artur Spilka. And he knocked Spilka out cold. Oh my god, I was ringside for that fight. And when I say he literally... Mate, I was that was the scariest knockout I've seen live anyway. That was the scariest knockout I've seen live. The way Spilker's body just went down was something else. Derek Chisora has power in his hands, man, for real. He also knocked out Carlos Takam uh, a few years ago, which was ridiculous as well. Carlos Takam giving problems to AJ, and Chisora wasn't really the favorite in that fight. Anyway, as you can see, it's going to be a banger of the fight. Let's hear what Derek Chisora had to say to me yesterday. Sure. How are you? You good? I'm alright, man. How are you? I'm good, man. Thank you. Uh, good to see you. First and foremost, obviously, you are used to fighting in front of big crowds, chanting your name, like pushing you on, and it motivates you to bring out that war side in you. You don't have that this time. It's an empty, empty arena. How are you feeling about going into, into such a situation and how are you going to deal with it? Um, we already started dealing with it. You know, we've got a gym down here. You know, in the gym when we're sparring, we're not putting no, 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 no music because it's my corner. And have a corner shouting instructions. Yeah. When I came here today, like train today, train with no music, trying to get into that, into that vibe of fighting with no crowd, and yeah. this this goes both ways, you know, because he's gonna be the same, you know. Train. Sorry, one second, Josh. Where's my water? Just oh, okay. Where's my Where's my box? Yeah. Okay. Uh, don't leave my stuff. I, I, I'm telling you, mate. Um, okay. sorry, mate. Uh, so basically. Okay. You have to understand, this guy's boxed in front of crowd as well. Since since mm. on the gold um, gold medals, since he done all his whole career, he's never boxed behind closed doors. You know, the, yeah. deep, the closest I have a deep block behind closed doors is when I boxed at um, in Monaco, and then beyond that, yeah. when, you know, signed with uh, we would have a promotion company. I would, used to be open, yeah. closed, or you know, and that's. That's heartbreaking, you know, because there's no crowd. So I'm used to that. So um, yeah. So it's gonna be hard for both parties, man. I'm not gonna lie to you. Yeah. Well, my last question is for the for the Dylan White rematch. You had a brilliant little analogy with the laxatives. I want to hear a good one for this one, man. What what's Usyk gonna? What's the analogy for Usyk? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. You listen. First of all, let me explain to you. This guy is a good guy, man. There's nothing bad yeah. about this man. You know, he's, uh, he's a, he's a, he, he won a gold medal. 
He's won everything yeah. he, was, he was given in front of. He's beating everybody. So for me to come yeah. out and say anything bad about this guy just makes me look stupid. Yeah. You don't understand? Of course. You know? So for me, I I can't say anything bad about this guy because he's done it all. He's won everything. You know, he's a good fighter. Mm -hmm. You know, he's not like he's bad fighter. He's done anything wrong to anybody. He's a good athlete. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. what I have to say, man, I'm gonna have to eat some leather to get to him. You know. Fair enough. Yeah. Fair enough. All right, all the best on Saturday, man. Thank you for your time. Thank you. Okay. All right, two main things we picked up there. First one, the arena. There's not going to be crowds there. Derek Chisora is that nitty-gritty fighter who brings entertainment to the fans. He, I'm sure, gets pumped up by the fans ch shouting his name. Chisora, Chisora, Chisora. Like, I'm sure that's what pumps him up to come forward and put the pressure on. Basically, step on the gas. Now, that's not going to be there. And in my opinion, it worries me because... Will he get pumped up when Usyk is just moving and dancing and jabbing? Will he have that same motivation he would have had if it was at the O2 Arena in front of 20,000 screaming fans shouting and chanting his name? I don't know. It's going to be very interesting, man. The second point, I wanted a good little capture from him and he didn't give it, man. He didn't give it. The last time, basically, he said to Dylan White that he's going to go through him like laxatives go through people. Like, it was a weird analogy and I thought he was going to give me another weird analogy. But look, this is the first time I'm seeing this Chisora go into a fight. Apart from the David Price fight where he's a bit more friendly because him and Price go way back. But for a fight this magnitude, I thought he might bring the heat. Chisora's persona over the years has always been that bad guy that doesn't care who you are and will bring the heat to you. He's not brought that for this fight. He's being very respectful. Now, is that a sign to play with Usyk's head maybe? And, and the team's head? Where he's trying to be like, play the nice guy, but when he gets into the ring, it's going to completely change. I don't know. But in all fairness, huge respect to Derek Chisora for showing the respect that Usyk obviously deserves. He knows what he's going into. He's not chatting nonsense. Like sometimes fighters do. They're like, oh, my skill set's going to be way better than him. I don't care about it. He's like, this guy can fight and I'm going to have to take some to, to show what I'm... Uh, 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 able to do ultimately and that's going to be very interesting how he approaches the fight anyway i can't wait the fight's going to be crazy listen we're going to have other fighters on other people on where we're going to do long form pieces of content that was a short piece with Derek, but i'm sure i'm going to do like maybe interviews or even my podcast i'm going to start hopefully god willing inshallah soon so make sure to start stay tuned for that if you haven't subscribed please do do that because it helps your boy let's get those numbers up back in the building absolutely top notch quality gang i'll catch you guys shortly